Hey yo guys, I'm Alan King and this week I'm going to be switching it up a little bit. I'm going to be showing you how to sync audio from an external device perfectly within Premiere Pro. Coming up. Right, so this is something that I have to do quite often and it's quite frustrating when you go to sync the audio and you snap it in place in the timeline and you're always restricted to syncing it at a frame by frame level. That's fine for video, but when it comes to audio, that isn't good enough. You really need to get in there and sync it just that extra level. And I've found a very quick and easy way to do that now. So let me quickly jump straight into the software and show you how to do it. All right guys, so I'm in Premiere Pro CC and here's my clip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the audio file and I've already isolated where this clip starts. So let's select the beginning and drop that in. So first things first, let's line up with the beginning of the file and we're going to drag this audio as close as we can to the beginning. Now what I should have done was clap at the beginning so that I knew where to start and it would have made syncing up the audio a lot easier but in this instance I forgot to clap so there we go. Um, so if we zoom right in and we'll just trim this even further because it makes it easier to line up you'll notice that the audio is snapping in at a frame by frame level exactly the same as video files. Now in this instance I can get fairly close Guys, you may notice, um, but there is a slight bit of phase in there because look, I even nudge it forward and it's slightly too far ahead. Guys, you may notice, or I pull it back one frame and it's you can see that gap there, it's not quite in alignment. Now, a very quick and easy way to line it up more accurately is this way if you right click on the ruler. There's an option here called Show Audio Time Units. Let's activate that. And we're going to reline up at the beginning of this clip. Now when we zoom in, we can now zoom in at a greater depth because we're now working with audio. And we no longer have this frame restriction. As you can see, the granularity of the drag is very accurate. And we can line this up as accurate as we want to be. Now obviously if we had a big spiky clap at the beginning it could be perfect but in this particular instance we're going to have to go with um, our ears and our eyes. So guys you may notice that when working in Premiere Pro and I can already hear that is sounding a lot better. So there we have it guys that's a very quick and easy tip um, and you know what it's just such a simple feature that they've just tucked away in the menu I don't know why they did that it should have been on a standard but I guess not everyone needs to sync audio so maybe that just makes it more confusing now as a bonus tip um, you'll notice I'm using a lavalier microphone here well actually this lavalier is a stereo lav and I'm using only one muff now in some instances it might have been preferable to use two muffs um, I'm only using one muff, let's leave it there. Um, and a very quick and easy tip is, let's go to audio, because there was a little bit of wind noise that might have been picked up on the other side. Um, and we don't want that to come through in our audio. So as we can see here, there's an audio effect called fill right with left. And what that's gonna do is it's just gonna duplicate the left channel and essentially turn this into a mono file which is perfect for um, voice and now that means we're not going to get any wind noise coming through on that other channel that didn't have a muff on. Hey guys you may notice that when working in Premiere Pro whenever you try and move video and audio about so there we have it and if we just mute the first one you try and move video and audio about it clicks in more. So there we have it guys, two little quick tips and uh, hopefully that will save your bacon. Right guys, I hope you found that tip helpful. Well, why don't you drop us a comment below and say hello. If you're new to the channel, why not try subscribing for fresh content each week. Other than that guys, I'm going to keep this one short and sweet. So I will catch you next time.